PlayStation State of Play revealed a new fantasy ARPG that would be free to play called Ballad of Antara. The entire story and even gameplay element has a major focus with you and the child that you're currently carrying on your back. Very interesting concept. But Ballad of Antara is using Unreal Engine 5 and it homes in as a single player free to play action RPG starring multiple characters called Emissaries or Emissaries. Emissary? Something of that nature. <laughs> Each of these characters sports their own class and abilities as well as a unique story to go behind them. So players will pretty much be able to travel between these two worlds seeking out these emissaries. Emissaries. I'm having a stroke. <laughs> to strengthen your force. But the young girl being carried around is apparently the key to how this entire game works. So uh, today I want to actually watch the trailer with you guys and overall share my thoughts on what I expect from this type of game. Stars. Shields. I have seen the miracles you so claim. Okay, okay. Until the towering shadows vanished into so, the mist. This, it looks good. I pray for their grace. But all that came. But y'all see what I'm saying? Like, there's a, there's a kid. Like, the well, gameplay is so shades. interesting. And keep in mind, this is supposed to be free to play too. This looks phenomenal for free to play, dog. Treacherous hands. <laughs> like, look at the the graphics alone looks good. Combat also looks pretty decent as well. Definitely is your usual action RPG. But the level of quality. That Sony brought, and they're saying this is supposed to be free to play. I've been seeing a lot of reports on it saying it's supposed to be free to play. Remember, no and he's happens, doing this with the child on his back. This world. Ballad of Antara. So I want to go a little bit, kind of walk through the process here. Like I said. This game, I pray for their this game is quite interesting. Like, I really hope that <laughs> Sony don't fuck this up. Because this could, I like the concept that this, like, it, it's, I guess with it being afraid to play, I just hope it's not going to be super monetizy. That's yes. the only thing. But for the level of quality we're getting, this could be, I'm surprised they went with a free to play option. Like, it's probably, I wouldn't say this is like a triple A, triple A like title or anything like that, but just the way of, from just trailer alone, the way this game looks, so like, this is a good 40, this is a $40 game. I'd say 40 bucks, maybe 50 bucks, maybe. Granted, we're just, we, this is all we just know of is just based off this trailer. There's not too much information regarding Ballad of Antara right now, but throughout the coming of months, like, I, just from the trailer alone, this level of quality and the voice acting too is actually pretty good too like i'm it's probably not, I, I, you know i don't know it's hearing that is very subjective i would say so it's really hard to say that like to me this sounds amazing this sounds good i've seen amazing voice actors this sounds good and they're saying this is all free to play hell even games like genshin impact or even whether or raves has good voice acting and they're gotcha games essentially so it's not bad but i'm like the level of quality that they bring into this it is insane Time. War. Mortality. like this feels like a i'd say what what you would think this double a game definitely i wouldn't like not indie game levels like you could tell there is a definitely a team working behind this game to make it look how good it is, the visuals, the voice acting, even the combat. Like this feels like Crimson Desert's combat. <laughs> like what? 
Like, it looks amazing. And the fact that this is supposed to be free to play is beyond me. It is absolutely beyond me, bro. This game looks good. Game looks absolutely phenomenal. But in addition to a single player story, though, uh, just to talk about this with you guys, the game pretty much I got a little bit of information for you. Game lets up to three players to explore, you know, together multiplayer. So you can do the single player or multiplayer. You can know uh, you. It has its own online servers as well, so you can be able to play. You know, well, I don't think it's couch co-op. It might be couch co-op. I haven't seen anything uh, written about that, but uh, the devs also plan to continually update Ballad of Antara post launch with new zones, new story content, and new emissaries or the per the characters you will be getting. So I don't know if they're gonna make this gotcha a gotcha style or battle pass, season pass, something of that nature. Definitely for a free to play game for us to get some new because they're saying getting new characters. There's definitely gonna be a way for us to obtain those characters. With it being with it being free to play, it seems the devs will keep this as some form of a live service game. Hopefully it's not too bad with the monetization and with Ballad of Artara coming to PS5, PC and mobile next year. So if you like ARPGs, then I suggest checking this video out here, right here. I made an entire review on this game. And as always, stay safe out there. It's been your host, KIC TV, Hair Chaotic Inc. Signing out. Peace.